The Ministry of Education, Department of Culture, Youth and Sport, held a Jubilee Literary Festival honoring Guyanese author Peter Kempadu at the University of Guyana Tain campus last Saturday. More details from Sasha Ramsaran. As part of the activities being held in observance of Guyana's 50th independence anniversary, a Jubilee Literary Festival featuring lunch with Guyanese author Peter Kempadu was held last Saturday at the University of Guyana Tain campus. The program commenced with a brief introduction of Mr. Peter Kempadu, which was done by Dr. Vibert Cambridge. Those in attendance at the luncheon were also given the opportunity to interact with Mr. Kempadu via video conferencing. Those in attendance at the event included Regional Executive Officer of Region 6, Dr. Romaya, who noted the significant contributions that Mr. Peter Kempadu has made to literature in Guyana. Also in attendance was renowned Guyanese author Stephanie Bowery, who entertained the gathering with one of her performances. There was a time when fish live on land. Oh, they had a beautiful island all to, itself, to themselves. Now what caused the calamity is a little fellow named Nancy. <laughs> this is what happened. The fish had one leader, and that was Grandma Fish. She was the oldest fish, and she took charge of everything when they were sick. When things went wrong, everything was Grandma. Everybody went to Grandma for advice. Grandma took care of everything. Now Grandma gone and gets sick. What were they to do? And what do you think was wrong with Grandma? She stopped seeing. Grandma got blind. Well, the fish were in the toilet. You can understand. So they came together and decided to put an ad in the newspapers. So they put an ad in the newspapers. Wanted Dr. Orton play on Fish Island. So Nancy read the ad. And Nancy went to Fish Island. Co-founder of the Burbese Children Resource Network of Canada, Ms. Marva Gordon, also made brief remarks to the gathering of students and teachers. Not just international honors we're talking about today. We also want everybody to be aware of the local authors as well, because we've got local talent that a lot of us don't know about. And I'm sure in your schools as well, we've got kids that are really talented and we don't know about them. And what I want you to do for our next event that we're going to have on the 20th, if any one of you school kids that are here today that do any creative writing and do some poetry and stuff, get in touch with me because I will put you on the program. For next for next Friday, all right? Because we want to encourage new talent, all right? Because in the next 50 years, one of you are going to be right up here talking about, especially these three young ladies over here. They'll be right here talking about the literacy program, all right? So let's get involved, and I want us to really push this. And again, we want everybody to know that Region Six has got the best and the smartest and the brightest people. So we have to let them know that. Songs and poems were also performed by students of the schools in attendance. A number of books were also on display at the event. Most of the featured publications were written by Barbitian authors including J.W. Chinapen, Winston Felix, David Davidin, Stephanie Bowery, Michael Scott, Edgar Mittelhauser, and Peter Kempadu. Peter Lochman and Kempadu is a Guyanese writer and broadcaster who was born in 1926. He migrated to the United Kingdom in 1953, where he built a career in print journalism as well as radio and television broadcasting. His publications include Guyana Boy and Old Thom's Harvest. His work has also been anthologized in The Sun's Eye and My Lovely Native Land. Sasha Ramsuran reporting for Channel 8 News.